Anytime you see this school bus, you're sure to find lines of people waiting to get inside. There's some days where there's just like insane lines all day and people are waiting for up to like two hours. When the bus doors finally open, those waiting find themselves entering a thrift store named not a thrift store. This isn't Goodwill. Like we pick out like the best stuff so we can just have the best stuff in here. I think this is where Utah is thriving right now is in the thrifting community. Inside the bus, you can find anything from a vintage jacket from your favorite team to a $5 t-shirt. There's so many things to look at. There's like different styles, different, and it's cheaper than yeah. usual. I just try to keep it cheap because, you know, like I'm a college age kid and I like resonate with like high schoolers and young kids like just trying to get some cool clothes. But before the millions of TikTok and Instagram views and likes, founder Kaysen Stevens, who at the time was only in eighth grade, was just a boy who bought a school bus. I started turning it into an Airbnb just to like run while me and my friends weren't hanging out in it. But as an eighth grader, I was like, I was broke. <laughs> so I needed a way to make money. So he put up some hangers and posted on social media. These days, Kaysen is doing out-of-state sales and helping behind the scenes. His brother Trey and friend Colin have taken the wheel, literally. We're hitting a different location almost every single week, like three times a week. In the next like year or so, we'd love to kind of be going like state to state and take it outside of Utah. The trio isn't just running a business, they're also giving back. We're starting like an anti-bully campaign called The Seat for Everyone where we're raising money. Uh, last week we raised over like $1,000 for homeless teens in uh, Utah County. And keeping a special someone's legacy alive. My grandma was a bus driver and she actually died driving a bus. She was like very well known as like helping the community. So we're trying to carry that on. In American Fork, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.